the Bible is the mark of the beast. Today I'm going to tell you a secret people don't know. But I'm going to talk about the Ouija board. Right here's the world's Ouija board right here. Religious people's Ouija board. Yeah, 2 billion, 300 million Bible worshippers. This is the Ouija board. You know what you can do with the Ouija board? You can conjure up spirits. Yeah. They'll be moving and around. Is there a spirit here? I've even seen Seth come to some of them. And that's one of the angels that came down with Satan, with Lucifer. And he'll show up. And them spirits will show up there with that Ouija board. And uh, they're going to come. And the same thing is when you open this. When Joel Osteen said, open your Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can have what it says I can have. This is your Ouija board right here. And do you know what? Do you know you go to church and the preacher will open that Bible and says, Pumpkin, do you know that right here in God's Word, He said He loves you? Ah, he loves you. He said it right here. God loves you. God said it and I believe it and that settles it. <laughs> so you found out that God loved you from a book. And that's really the spirit of the preacher speaking through the book. And through the, this is their Ouija board. Through the Ouija board. And it's the spirit of the, the, the false apostle, the Satan's minister. He this, can do that. This is the world's a Ouija board. They get their message from God through this book. This is the word of God. They made it the Ouija board. Now, this thing here actually works. Yeah, because spirits, whether they're familiar spirits, spirits of humans that have died or, or demons... They want to contact and communicate with people on this side in the flesh. And they will come through on this. You don't want to mess with this because you're messing with familiar spirits and demons, but they will. A lot of secret people, especially on Wall Street where there's a lot of money and stuff, they got these spirits there that control it. And uh, it's a Ouija board thing that they use to contact, just like this one girl that had a demon in her. She's following Paul and Barnabas around. And Paul and Silas it was. And said, these are the men of the Most High God. They show us the, the way of the Most High God. And salvation. Yeah. yeah, and salvation. And she would had a spirit of divinity in her. She could divine what was going to do good on the stock market. And when Paul didn't cast that devil out of her, they put him in prison. Mm -hmm. So today, if you tear up their Ouija board, they'll put you in prison. They did bait. And so, what, they, what demons do... Is they use this for a disguise mm -hmm. to pretend like they're a god so that you'll talk to them. And it's really a demon just using it as a means, a mediation for them to talk to you and have an effect on you. The Lord told me one time this spirit was talking to this woman and it was pretending like it was that woman. And the Lord told me, don't, don't talk to that spirit because it wasn't that woman. It was a demon trying to fool me. All right. Let's show this. This is what. Satan done for you. Now, these beasts, they're kings, like King James or Constantine, and they got you a Ouija board so you could talk to God, so you wouldn't talk to the real God. Revelation thirteen fifteen, And he had power to give life under the image of the beast. Here it is. This is the image of King James. That the image of the beast should both speak. Yeah, the Bible says. The Bible says. Yeah. All right. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. What happened to the Quakers? Uh, they persecuted them until they, they killed some of them and they put a bunch of them in prison. They persecuted them until finally they took the mark of the beast, the image yes. of the beast. What they do is the Bible of itself is just a dead history book. But Satan wants you to give it authority like it's from God. And then he takes power over you through it. Yeah, they killed all 50,000 Quakers. Just like this. This is just a piece of cardboard or something, a piece of plastic, and it's nothing, but you let it be a mediator between you and the devil, and then Satan comes in, and that's what you're doing with the Bible instead of being led by the Holy Spirit. You're letting Satan use this as a mediator to speak to you and deceive you. All right, here's your Ouija board. Revelation thirteen sixteen, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right a mark hand, in the right in their hand. right hand, or in their forehead. They memorize it. All right, this is your Ouija board. What Queen James gave you was a Ouija board, and so this is what they got today. They get a word from God. They go to church and they said, "Oh, that was a good word. 
I'm going to heaven. The preacher said, I'm going to heaven. You got your word from your Ouija board. Now, you ain't got a word till you hear it from the Holy Ghost. You know, for years I called it the Holy Bible and the authorized word of God. And somewhere about, what, 50 years ago, they just started calling it the word. The uh, word. <laughs> All right, here we go with your Ouija board. Revelation thirteen seventeen, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. When was King James born? In uh, 6, 1566. What, what, what was he out of the house of Stuart in Scotland? He was the sixth James king out of uh, Scotland, the house of Stuart. And how many books did he put in this? Well, it now has 66 books 66 in its authorized. Books. In 1666, they actually took the other books out and made it a 66-book Bible. Had he had the mark or the number of the beast or mm -hmm. the number of his name? The mark, the no name of the beast, or the number of his name? Uh -huh. This is authorized. By a king, a beast. It's a witchy book. An evil beast. All right, now here Queen you go. James. You want wisdom? It's not the RIFD chip. It's the number of a man. Revelation thirteen eighteen. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So it's not the number of a chip. It's no. the number of a man. Yes, and it has to be something that deceives people. If it were possible, it would deceive the very elect. And it's an object of worship, and that makes people obey it. It's a thing people think of as God. It's not an RFID chip or something that... It's just secular. It's a thing about God, about religion, that deceives, could deceive the very elect. Listen, lady, don't you understand? If you get this, you'll never be the same. Never be the same. <laughs> You're going to be saved by this book. The Bible says. The Bible says. All right. Now, this is where me and Punkin is. Revelation 10.10, 10, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and I ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And when you enter the spirit world telling Jesus, you know in my book, you're going to be bitter. He's going to say, I never knew you. You came to the scriptures. You searched the scriptures. And you found out about him, but you never came to him. You can only know him by the spirit. He came in the flesh, but you no longer know him after the flesh. You can only know Him by the Spirit, and you can only be regenerated by the Spirit. And we only have access to God by the Holy Spirit. A book does not give you access to God. It only has history, and it's been interpolated and mistranslated. And remember, this is not the mediator between God and man. The devil made it the mediator, but it's not. When you say this is the Word of God, you're saying this is His voice. You've got 41,000 different interpretations of it. So you're blaspheming. Jesus is a living Christ. He has a living voice, and he speaks to us by the Holy Spirit. All uh, right, get this. 1 Timothy 2, 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Now, is this, is this Christ Jesus here? No, this is not the mediator. This is your Ouija board because you don't have access to God, because you don't have the Holy Spirit. So remember this, don't take a Ouija board Bible and claim you got a word from God, because you only get a word from God, from, from the Spirit. Jesus told me the Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. That's a word from God. So don't obey it. Obey God in the Spirit. Jesus is the mediator. Let him speak to you. Come to him. Don't come to scriptures, because that's a Ouija board.